what we're trying to achieve is um, right here is producing um, first class oysters in increasing quantities and also mussels at this end of Rock 5 and at the same time trying to um, uh, as far as possible and increasingly so um, our objective is sustainability in production so that we leave the waters here um, better than they were when we started. When uh, Michael Johnny took over the Archimedes estate in the 1970s, it was in a, a financial crisis, uh, which is really what he inherited. Um, and in order to solve that, he had to come up with a solution um, that would generate, for the estate to generate income. So that was the challenge that, that Johnny took on, and uh, as part of that, he tried various ventures to try and keep the place going. Um, and Lock Fine Oysters was the one that, that worked in the end. He was also very fortunate and he had a lot of contacts in the, in the, in the wine business having been a wine dealer. So he knew lots of people he, he could draw on to then sell oysters and, and smoke salmon to. Uh, and he had this wonderful gift of making people feel at ease, feel welcome, feel their best friends. So, and, and again, by bringing people to Argyle, by the time they left, even if they only came to stay for 24 hours, they were generally best friends with Johnny and, best, and stayed best friends for life. Most of the pictures that we have around actually show how we rope our mussels, how, our, how do we get our oysters kind of thing. So there's a bit of a history around if you follow them. This is Loch Fine and this is where we grow the oysters that we provide for the Loch Fine restaurants. We're really lucky because out on the shores of Loch Fine, the water is absolutely pristine. The reason that the business exists is to do with the community and the area around here in order to make that sustainable, to bring jobs into an area uh, where traditional jobs were dying out and all sorts of things weren't going so well. So we needed something that would go well to turn things around and to keep the community here uh, vibrant. And he managed to spread that enthusiasm throughout his, throughout everybody who worked for them. So that, so in the early days of the Oyster Barn, and still, people still come there and, and get a little bit of that feeling that they then take away, and again, we'll take to other lock farm restaurants all over the country. We're very proud of what we've got. All the guys in the kitchen are proud. You know, even busy times, they still keep that bit of pride here. Our product is, is great, you can't see anything else, it's, it's great and it goes all over the world which is testament to it anyhow. The great thing is that they've managed to do that with a product that is so wonderfully natural and sustainable and delicious. The waters are what make the oysters so special. The, the oysters and the, and, the, and the salmon and the mussels, you know, because they're all so natural to this environment, have enabled us to work with the environment rather than fighting with it. We have our cold counter, which we do our cold food, uh, our lock fine oysters and stuff, but we also have fishmongers, so you can come in and buy the produce from there as well. Um, it's quite nice to get the chef out on display. It's all about showing the product that we have, that we receive on a daily basis. They're prominent in our restaurants, they're full of vibrant fish and shellfish. People can choose their fish and their fillets, their, their cuts perhaps as well, um, and like to see how, how our chefs are working on our products. So as well as our a la carte menu, we also have our blackboards which go out daily, uh, which should change from their day-to-day -day basis. Uh, that's all to do with seasons, um, so your seasonal fish, um, and also you get some different seasonal veg, which will go nicely with your, with your fish. As a brand, we do provide fresh food at all times. So introducing something different every single day can only mean a very good thing about us as a, as a brand, I suppose. Our special boards are great for us to use uh, seasonal availability um, on top of our a la carte menus. 
having a special all day and then getting to a certain point that we run out of that, they're actually showing that we're being genuine, that we had that product, was fresh, finished because it was that good and we sold out. It's great for our teams to really drive their knowledge and upsell those extra special dishes for our guests if they want. So on a Saturday night, it's our busiest night, but what the key thing is, I think, is, is the buzz. I haven't felt a buzz like that before, so when you get into a busy service, it sets you up and you just go with it. Everyone seems to enjoy it. Making customers happy, cooking good food, cooking fresh food. We greet our guests like they're walking into our homes. Um, really big open smiles, open arms, welcoming them in, um, picking a specific table for them. You know, we have lots of regulars here. They really know what, where they want to go. They're almost walking us to their table themselves. I think if you treat people the way that you would like to be treated yourself, then you are doing a good job. That's what I try to do. And I just imagine they are my, on my own leaving room, so I'll make sure they have a good time. I, I kind of try and find the, the balance between casual and formal, because I think that's what this place is. It's not too in your face formal, and it's not too casual either. So it's good to find the, the balance. It's knowing what you're selling, and, and not, if you're not quite sure what you're selling anyway, if there is a question, you can always just say, I'm not quite sure, but I'll find out for you. People appreciate the fact that you've been honest. And we like to find out about their day and what they have and haven't tried yet. Um, and new uh, dishes to them um, is really, really great. We can do the seafood grills, we can do our mussels or oysters, and we like to recommend those because they're our core products. Say, for instance, a sea bus. Say they've never tried a sea bus or how it looks. Can always bring a sea bus to the table, get the guests to see the, the fish or the product that we're serving. We have a fantastic dessert range, really, really great for the summer. Eat a mess and our creme brulee is absolutely out of this world. People come back for our creme brulee, so we always like to recommend that. Remembering who's having what, and if there is a specific guest that, for instance, they want to try Sunfire for the very first time on a fish away option, but they're not quite sure, and you try to persuade them to try. And it's always nice, a nice touch at the very end going, oh, how was Sunfire for you? Did you like that? It's a nice touch. So what makes Lock Fine unique in itself is we, we use a lot of our own products uh, from the Lock in Scotland. Um, some of our key ones are our mussels, our oysters and our salmons. We do different salmon, we do fresh salmon, we do smoked. At the moment on the menu we have four different smoked salmons. It's always a wow when we ask, because obviously we need to ask the guests have you tried an oyster before? If they go no, then we can always offer them an oyster on us, which I think it's a massive wow. Chances are people will like it and once we present the oysters to the guests we always mention to them where it's from, how it gets here, what it comes with and people love it. Our guests are quite passionate about our products um, so we can give them a real good tour around the building and show them actually what is coming from this, the ocean or the sea and the lock to the plate and they're really quite interested in that. It's always nice to know if the salmon comes from, the, from Scotland, where the mussels are from, how does it grow, how do we get them. The platters are obviously outstanding. They're amazing, full of, full of flavour, full of colours. Also our seafood grill, you get a bit of everything on the, on the grill, some shellfish, fish. I also quite like our, our whole fish as well and teaching the guests how to, how to fillet their own fish. Our teams are filleting at the table. I had a, a guest near day, bless her, she wanted a sea bass, but she wanted the sea bass on a bone because obviously it has the proper taste of it, it's there. But she was struggling to get the fish out of the bone, so I filleted the fish on the table for her, which I think she, she thought was uh, nice. For me personally, working for Lock Fine is about working with the fresh produce, uh, with sustainable, and it's just picking up a knife again and making sauces from scratch and stuff like that, which is, which is why you become a chef. We're really passionate about, you know, having the oceans and clearing the oceans and not, and not overfishing. Um, our guests are so passionate about where our food comes from. People are really, really interested in, in our products and we like to talk about those. Mm -hmm.